I, Maxine Hepte, a scholar of Philippine Science High School, acknowledge the school as an extension of family and an integral part of the society. I recognize the need of contribution to a sense of order, discipline, and harmony that is crucial to the learning process and efficient functioning of the school system. I therefore pledge to uphold the following principles of the Code of Conduct that shall govern my deportment and stay in the PSHS, pursuit of truth, passion for excellence, and commitment to service. For number 17, the question is, for what value of B is 2 plus I quantity over 3 minus VI a real number? Again, for what value of B is 2 plus I quantity over 3 minus VI a real number? Go! Yes, Fidel? Hmm, that's right. Good work.
Have you written your articles? I I haven't finished all of them, but I'm working on one right now. I needed you to finish five. The deadline is in two days. I can promise that I will send them all by tonight. Uh, I'll go ahead. You better finish them tonight, Tadero, or else. Guys, sir has arrived. Yes. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, sir. So. Before we start, I would like to announce that we'll be accepting volunteers for the upcoming 2019 Philippine Math Olympiad. So is anyone here interested? Okay. So, talk to me later after class. Anyway, so our lesson for today is... Good afternoon, may I speak to Sir Carlos? Okay, sit down. Alright, so Maxine, here's the sign-up form. Just fill this up. Uh, good afternoon, this is Fidel Mariano from Ken Graviton. May I speak to Sir Carlos? Oh, Fidel, you're here. Come on, sit down. So, I already signed you up and Maximo for the Olympiad, and I'm sure you'll get into the next round this time. Uh, do I still have to sign up, sir? No, I already completed that out. Uh, okay. So, you already know the drill, Fidel, but Maxine, we have here some reviewers, and we'll be having some review classes at a future date. Thank you, sir. That will be all. Okay. So, Fidel, I hear you've been training. Uh, the student selection for competition is defined and governed by the Student Affairs Division. And as such, the Philippine Science High School System has a definite guidelines on choosing students for competition. Um, with the advent of ISO, uh, everything now is dependent on the systems manual. And student competition, being one of the functions of the school, has its own segment on the student affairs manual. And for the process, the manual gives the general framework on how to choose students. However, it varies from one campus to, to another. Uh, the process defined by the Student Affairs Manual is based on the premise that uh, student competition should be accessible to all students. And students that are fit and are, are able to contribute well on that competition should be chosen. So in one way, it's a democratic way of choose, uh, student selection. Uh, for this school, for our campus, we start off with um, with the student affairs coordinator, and that's my work this school year. Okay, my primary work this school year is when competition invitation comes. I am tasked to coordinate all of the functions or all of the activities for student competition. So it starts off with creating a committee on student selection, and that we call it the selection committees. And for every competition, we we usually create uh, student selection committees okay, per competition. And uh, the committee will define their own ca categories, criteria on how, on how they will choose the participants for the competition. So primarily for all of the activities, for all, most of the competitions that we do here in school, it's based on first the grades and their um, behavioral status, whether they have uh, an outstanding uh, case in the discipline office. And then after that, uh, the rest of the criteria will be based on the committee's decision. Um, it, and also dependent on the competition. For example, we have competition that requires student, for example, paying for their own uh, airfare. Then one of the criteria for those competitions 
most uh, most of the time they add capa financial capabilities. But for competition, that the, does not require um, don't require financial or they, they have funding initially. Then that criterion is usually not included. So. And then after the committee decides on the competition, they endorse the selected students to the campus director. Uh, of course, the student affairs coordinator will um, facilitate the movement of the paper. So the campus director approves the set of students that will uh, that will join in that particip uh, or participate in that competition, and then. Um, one task of the selection committee would be to choose the head coach for that competition. And the head coach now, it's the head coach uh, responsibility to uh, fill out all of the rest, all of the documentation and all of the processes after um, student selection. For example, the head coach will secure funds from the school. They will ensure that there are enough funds from the school to... Uh, fund the competition and then create the activity permits. So that's the, the general process and how student the participants to competitions are selected. Oh, yes, Maxine. I think I got it, sir. Oh, that's correct. There's still an open slot for the Olympiad. Are you still interested? Yes, sir. Okay, so joining different contests outside of the school how did it affect me as a person? Um, first of all, when you join a contest or any event outside of your comfort zone, of course, that would give you lots of experiences. You get to meet new people. You get to learn a lot of new knowledge. And then, of course, that just that's like a preparation for you for uh, bigger opportunities, for more events that are coming as you grow old. And then how did it affect my academics um, of course, when you join contests, whether it be a science quiz B or a contest for journalism, of course, you get to learn new skills, new knowledge on how to hone your skills, whether it be in the field of science or humanities. So, of course, it's like an edge. So when you come back to school, you already know more stuff about the lesson you're talking about. And then for social life, of course, for when you join contests, you have these trainings prior to the contest. So of course that takes up much of your time and then it also kind of hypes you up for the contest, but it zones you out of the uh, school setting and you're just thinking about the contest so you don't really join your friends for lunch or during break times. And then, so you kind of zone out. So I guess that's a bummer for your social life. But whenever you're at the contest, like actually at the contest, you get to meet new people and you also get to socialize. And then when you're back at school, you have new stories for your friends to share. So that's how joining new contests and quizbees affected me as a person in my academics and social life. However, I think that sometimes it can be tiresome because you have to train. And then when you come back to school, you have to catch up all the requirements and tests. So I think it's okay to have a little break sometimes from joining contests, but I personally, I enjoy them despite all the exhaustion I get from it. So it's fine, but I guess it's also nice to have new people to uh, have the opportunity to join contests whenever they have the talent for it. Siguro meron akong dalawang realizations. Una, kaya ko pala. Kasi dati, actually, nung from grade 7 to grade 9, hindi naman ako sinasali sa mga contest. Pero ngayon lang grade 10 ako nasali sa mga contest. And na-realize ko na kung kaya ko, edi kaya rin ng iba. Na if they were given the chance, they could actually also compete in contests. No? 
Pero number two naman na realization, siguro mahirap din ang sumali sa mga contest kasi maraming nami-miss na requirements tapos may instances na kailangan ko mag-adjust para sa paghahabol lang ng rec. Siguro ang main point dito ay kaya rin ng iba, kaya ng lahat kung kaya ko. And if given the chance, kaya ng kahit sino na sumali sa contest kasi ma-realize mo lang yon kapag you're actually in it. Oh, hi, Fida. You okay? Is this about the Rex or competition? How do you do that? Do what? Understand all your classes and still have time for reviews. Well, sometimes all you have to do is relax. I mean. It's not always about studying, but you know what? I have an idea. Come on. Oh, uh, sure. Hey guys, I haven't seen you in a while. What contest are you preparing for this time? Sciences. Uh, it's math this time. By the way, have you guys met her? It's been a few months, but we've never actually talked to each other. Weren't you with Jem the first few weeks around? Uh, I'm Maxine. Maxine Hepte. And Fidel brought you here because... Because she's one of my teammates at the math contest this year. She's... Probably better than me at math, but yeah, no joke, but she's too high strong. I think we could help her loosen up a bit. I think we can take care of that. Oh, don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back, she said shut up and dance with me. This woman is my destiny. Helping me with You're some... smarter than them, Maxine. I think they need you more than you need them. From what I've noticed, you guys are less focused on the math Olympia. Hi, Maxine. Come, our table's over there. Seriously, Maxine. You should stop hanging out with that snitch. She's a loser. Jem? 
Who else? She had the guts to sell me out to Sir Kalna. I only made her write my articles because my hands were already full. I am obviously the better writer. I have an idea. Well, the general problem with it would be uh, the process itself. Because some of the competition would require students, for example, having an audition or writing uh, papers for elimination here in, in our campus. And with all of your um, academic workload here in our campus, uh, some students think that, first and foremost, uh, it's an additional load for them to do. So rather than joining the competition or joining the elimination here in school, they prefer not to join. And uh, they have the notion of only a pool of students are allowed in competition. And I think it's a self-fulfilling prophecy in one way because if students think that way, they'll, they will be discouraged to join any eliminations here in school. So you'll see uh, same people in participating in competition. Not that they're the only ones that are fit to compete, but they are the only ones available, and they were the only ones participating in that elimination. The other campus always seeks way uh, to, to increase participation of students in competition, but we could only do so much. And since the guidelines and the ISO procedures are just new, it's relatively new. Our campus only started slowly implementing it three years ago, and it's full implementation last year, rather. As you can see, we still have a lot of room for improvement of the process. And student participation is one key aspect of that. Hopefully, in the next few years, we'll see more students participating, not because they're the only ones that you think that are chosen by the teachers or teachers pet, but rather they have the confidence in their, their ability that they don't need to be forced or pushed by their teachers to join. Rather, they have that, uh, that initiative of joining competitions. Such hierarchies do exist. Many people at the top have wronged others and will continue to do so. What's stopping us from stopping them? What puts us under their power? Why should we conform to a social structure that is oppressive at its core? Does the oppression of the minority and the ignorance of the majority really ensure harmony? Maybe the answer lies within us. Maybe there's no answer at all. Maybe, as long as our fate remains uncertain, as long as hope is not lost, maybe we should keep on fighting for our own.